Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do is going to be a new Will I Buy It. This is my series I post every single Wednesday. I'm gonna chat with you over all the new makeup releases and talk about what I'm planning to add to my cart, what I'm not so interested in. I always link my playlist down below as well as the community playlist that I started and let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, welcome. Welcome to a new week. I'm still trying to drink my smoothie, but let's go ahead and do the Vegas OOTD. Okay, so today we have on this dress. It's kind of a long dress. It has some slits on the side. I'm still wearing my flip flops because I've been like in and out with Aries all day. Um, so yeah, just this brown dress. It has like a little bit of cutout here. And that's it. Pretty, pretty, pretty simple today. It's just like a casual, comfortable dress. I do always list out all of my makeup in the description box. I did do a demo of the new derma blend cc cream that i'm trying if you caught yesterday's video it is where i'm ranking all of my skin tints the cc creams and tinted moisturizers and light coverage foundations i have 10 that i'm ranking from least favorite to top favorite and i mentioned that i had just received the derma blend cc cream and i was wearing it in yesterday's video but it was my first time trying it so it wasn't mentioned in the ranking and then today i did film a little demo on my Instagram Reels, which is March Beauty Word, and I'm gonna keep testing that out so I can review it in my next Makeup Monthly. So, okay, I think that's all I have to say. So let's go ahead and jump in. So, I was trying to think of where to start. At first I thought, it seems like we have a lot to talk about, and then I was like, I don't know if there's really like too, too much to talk about. Also, let me scoot over so I can add in these photos. Let's start with a cream blush. No rhyme or reason, just for fun, just for funsies. This is from Dominique Cosmetics, the new Silk Tone Cream Blushes. Nourishing and soothing, it has vitamin E, hyaluronic acid, they're $22 each or $55 for the bundle of three. I got a whole lot of tags on this one because I am very into cream and liquid products right now. There's only three shades and I can't say like, I don't know because the like natural rose is what called to me the most, but I, for some reason I feel like out of the shades, nothing really like pulled me right away. But the more I looked at them, the more I thought that natural rose could be pretty. $22, I'm very into cream blushes. Kind of thinking about this one. I also got a lot of tags on this new concealer. We have from Lancome, the Tinted Dole Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. It's supposed to be hydrating, lightweight, full coverage concealer. Uh, this is going to be $32, available June 14th online at Ulta. A lot of tags on this one. I did really enjoy the Lancome Tinted Dole Foundation. It was a favorite of mine for a very long time. I was, I, I honestly, I almost just said it's been a while since I've tried a new concealer. That's such a lie. I would just be straight up lying to your face if I said that. I just bought the Fenty Bright Fix. I have it on today. <laughs> I just bought that one. But I feel like concealers, I haven't been buying as fast of a rate as I once used to or as fast as a rate as I am cream and liquid complexion products right now. But am I interested in it? I kind of am. I feel like I'm interested in a lot recently. I don't know. Things are just, things are just calling to me, but $32, more full coverage. I'm thinking about this one. That's what I would say. From Tarte, we have the new and improved Amazonian Clay Full Coverage 16 Hour Foundation, and this is available at QVC. So there's 46 shades. It's supposed to give you full coverage, but without the cake, a soft matte finish, and it's going to be $39. I don't think I'm so interested in this one. I'm very much leaning towards the skin tints right now. I was at the doctor's office, what, yesterday? In the waiting room. Nothing serious. Nothing serious. But I'm in the waiting room and, the, you know, the radio is playing. And the the gal, the radio host, is like, full coverage is out. It's all about skin tints right now and tinted moisture. And I was like, what? What? Are we watching YouTube? Like, I was like, what's happening here? It was so funny. Like, everyone else was just sitting and on their phones or filling out paperwork. And I was like, what is that? <laughs> Where is this beauty news coming from? It was um, kind of hysterical. So, I don't think that I would be very interested in this one at this time. Uh, let's see. I feel like there's... Oh, here's one more cream product, actually, from Lime Crime. The Sunkissed Glimmering Skin Sticks. These are multi-use highlighting, glimmer, bronze, or blush looks for face and body. Nine different shades, and they're going to be $25 each. Um, 
Okay, I'm not so interested in these. I like that you can kind of do different things. I actually just got, they're right here. I didn't know that these had come out. These are from Pixie. This is the On The Glow Blush Tinted Moisture Stick. So I did an unboxing, a PR unboxing yesterday on my TikTok. I just kind of like randomly went live on my TikTok. I don't know why. I had just gotten back from the gym. Like still had my tennis shoes on, sweaty hair, and I was like, yeah, let's go live. This sounds like a good idea. But I did a little PR unboxing there and I got these from Pixie. So they look like, you know, like a little deodorant thing here. And then like so. So I really want to try these out, but I don't know. I will find them and link them if you're interested in them. I, I did not know that these uh, were coming out. I don't think I've seen anyone talking about them yet, but I'm definitely, I'm really excited to try them out. So there are three different shades in here. So one's like a little bit more orangey, a little deeper, and then a pink one. So I'm gonna be trying these out, so not so interested in that one from Lime Crime. I have a new release coming from Drunk Elephant, and this is their new Obluce R Rosy Drops. I don't know what it is I'm trying to say here. I was looking at this earlier, I was like, Obluce, Rosy, Obluce. Like, I feel like it's a play on something. Uh, like what is it what's it a play on what's like why can I not think of this I like I'm I'm really good I'm really good at usually getting it but I like I'm not getting this one it's making me really mad it's like when I'm trying to do like a word search and I can't find that last word and I'm like I know I'm better than this like <sighs> this is a concentrated liquid that delivers a rosy wash of color to the skin in a few drops while, while blah, 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 supporting the skin barrier with omega fatty acids all right, so this is gonna be $36, it's fragrance free, coming soon to the website and the retailers. So, so it's a liquid blush, is what I'm gathering. Yeah, oh, blues, I have literally no idea. So, a liquid blush, okay. Um, you know, I actually have been using the Deep Bronzy from Drunk Elephant quite a bit. I actually have it on my face today uh, because I'm very diligent about sunscreen on my face. Uh, I, I'm diligent about it everywhere else, but I am extremely diligent about it on my face. So my face is a different shade than my body currently. It helps to use something like the Deep Bronzy to give like that illusion of some sun on my face without actually having sun on my face. And I, and I like that product. Um, this one, I just, it's like I want to be interested in it because liquid blushes to me are intriguing something is just kind of holding me back i just i almost wonder i feel like i need to see swatches because it sounds like it could be so so sheer and i don't know if i really want just like a wash of color i've also been trying to play with my blush more i don't know if anyone notices today but i've been trying to play with blush more and like placement of blush and going a little bit heavier with blush actually i don't know that's kind of like what i'm into right now so you know our makeup preferences change all the time and we like switch up our styles and like what we're enjoying so i feel like it potentially could be not enough for me it's kind of what i'm thinking 36 dollars, you know kind of pricey unsure about that one i do get some pr from drunk elephant if i got it i would definitely try it out but i don't know with how much um complexion products i've been buying recently it's like do i really need to buy this one probably not Another blush that is coming out is from Givenchy. This is available at Harrods, the new Prism Libre blush. Four color loose powder blush with complimentary illuminating tones that interact harmoniously together on the skin. All right, these are four, oh, oh, these are $47 each. Oh, oh. I hear really good things about, what is it? Like their setting powder or something like that that has something similar to this with like the four different shades. I don't know, you know, maybe if it was like a cream or a liquid. I would be more interested in it. No, okay, but no, seriously, that's just like what I'm into right now. So a pretty pricey powder foundation with kind of this like heavier, chunkier packaging. I'm kind of shifting a little bit towards like more like minimal and I don't even know if I want to say shifting because I've been into that for a while. But like today, for example, I just received the Carly Bible and Il Maquillage collaboration, which I was super excited to try out. It comes with a face palette. I have the face palette on my face and also on my eyes today. I just used the bronzer as an eyeshadow. I mixed the two highlights together on my eyes. That was it. That's just what I'm into. So I'm gonna pass over that one. And then I see we have quite a few um, eyeshadows coming out or here. Before we start with the palettes, 
Let's start with this from Glossier, the Lid Star Glistening Eye Glow. It's available online with a dreamy shimmering eyeshadow, creates a sheer veil of color that locks onto lids without creasing. $18 each, looks like there's two new shades, Bun and also Branch. Okay. I feel like I should be into something like this since I'm using like my Auric uh, Smoke Reflux quite a bit. I'm even using Super Shock Shadows from ColourPop, which is very, very rare for me. I've never been a big, big Super Shock girl from ColourPop. I've always kind of gone towards my palettes, but I'm slowly starting to go just simple. And if I can use face shades, great. Or if I can use just like a single shadow, cool. Like. That's kind of what I'm into. I just, something about these, I don't know if I would be that into it. I'm still, something's still holding me back here. So when I first saw it, I was like, I feel like maybe I would really like this, but I I still don't know if it's gonna be me. I don't know if I, I don't know how to explain that, but I, I still have some other eye products like this. I have Pixie and Urban Decay. I do really like the, like the shadow sticks from Sigma Beauty and I still use Bubbly quite a bit. I When those first came out, I talked about Bubbly all the time. I still do like to use that one, but my other ones, Stila, I just don't reach for those very much, even as my preferences are changing right now. So that's why I'm thinking I wouldn't really be into the one from Glossier. So probably gonna pass over that one. And then for some eyeshadow palettes, so we have Melt Cosmetics is coming out with the Brunette Collection, which includes an eyeshadow palette with eight shades. Right now, all I see is coming soon. So it looks to be from, you know, we can see most of the shades in here. It looks to be a really pretty, pretty uh, uh, who? It looks to be a really pretty palette. Um, looks like it has a lot of shades that I would definitely wear sometimes with Melt the color schemes don't call to me as much with this one i feel like this is the one of the one of the few that has really turned my attention but it's also coming at a time where i'm not reaching for my palettes as much so it's like i don't know if it would be a good choice i'm still considering the patrick ta also i've been wanting to get into a sephora this week and i just haven't had the time yet uh, but i'm still planning to get into a sephora there's a couple different things that i'm on the hunt for so maybe i'll do would you want to see like another shop with me at sephora um i can take you to a different one in vegas i did miracle mile last time but um i could take you to a different sephora if you'd want to come along with me but let me know because there are a few things i want to grab so i don't know i'm I'm still gonna be debating on that one from Milt. KKW Beauty, she's coming out with the new Camo Collection. So we have an eyeshadow palette for $52 with 12 shades. There's also eye crayons for $18 each, semi-matte liquid lipsticks for 22, highlighters for 26, or you can get the full collection for 270, and it will be available June 11th. This is like one of the most different palettes KKW Beauty is putting out. And when I first saw this promo photo, I would not have thought that this was KKW Beauty. Um, it's usually all very similar looking to one another. Uh, so this like really surprised me to see. I do like that we have some of those greens in there. The greens and the gold look very cool. Oh, it's just like, do I need, I, I like KKW Beauty lip liners. I haven't, have it. Is that all I've tried? That might be all that I've tried from the brand. I think so. I haven't tried the eyeshadows yet, and it's like, I don't know. I, f I feel like if this was maybe coming out towards the fall, I'd be into it, but some of the darker shades, it's just kind of not what I'm going for right now, going into summer. The highlights also look really pretty, but I probably don't need a new highlight. What do you think? I would love to know your opinion. Would you like to see me try KKW Beauty eyeshadows? Would that be fun, or would that not be a good experience? You just let me know. Right, ColourPop is coming out with some neon electric palettes. So we have three new five pan palettes and also three new lip oils available June 10th. Oh yes, the lady on the radio also said that lip oils are very in. Not liquid lipsticks, lip gloss, and lip oils. I was listening, that's what she said. Okay, so for the new palettes, um, you know, sometimes I go like this with ColourPop. There's definitely been times where I'm like, nope, I don't need anything, I don't want anything, everything's fine. And then there's other times where I'm like, I can't get enough, I need all of the new releases from ColourPop. And I feel like right now I'm kind of in that like, I don't need anything and nothing's really grabbing at me a ton. 
the packaging is is fun on all of these you know obviously the the neon packaging and all but i feel like for the actual eyeshadows i'm not like i feel like i need to get those it's kind of where i'm at right now uh there's a new collaboration coming with makeup revolution of course there is and this is with brax so it will be available June 18th on the website. So I see the eyeshadow palette here, but it is going to be a full collection. Usually when Makeup Revolution does these collabs, it's like a full shebang, everything under the sun. Uh, so I'm expecting to see a lot more. This is a very large eyeshadow palette. Um, I really can't say that I'm interested in it at all. I also don't feel like a with the brats, so it doesn't like give me that pull towards the collaboration. But with just like how large the palette is, I just I don't think that it would be for me. And then a few more collaborations. We have something, yes, here, okay. We have from Be Perfect Cosmetics, the Vivian. This includes six essential face shades, two supersized black and white pans, 30, 33 shadows. These are just, it's just too large for me. <laughs> it's just so large. I don't, I, I just don't feel like I would need this many shades. I like that it has the, um, the face products and then also the eye products, but I've never tried Be Perfect Cosmetics. Um, but I, it, that one's gonna be be a pass and then I do also see from glam light and uh, Michaela J makeup they are coming out with an eyeshadow palette, but also a full collection So this collaboration includes the eyeshadow palette with 30 shades uh, Will be available June 13th, but it looks like there is some more in the collection. Okay, so here we go The eyeshadow palette is $42. There's a highlighter for 14 a lip gloss set for 28 there is uh, lashes for $12 each, or you can do a few different few different bundles, or you get the full collection with the limited edition PR box for $99. Will be available June 13th at 8 a.m. PST on the Glam Light website. So this is really exciting. I've been following uh, Michaela for a while. My sister actually sent me a TikTok. I think it was probably like her viral TikTok with um, how she covered her acne with the. Um, I can't remember all of the things now, but I think it was like the milk primer and the NARS concealer and different things like that. And it was around the time that I was also really struggling with hormonal acne. So my sister was sending it to me as like, you know, have you seen this? Or like, maybe you could try this type of thing. And so that's when I started following her and it's been really exciting to see just her whole journey on on TikTok and Instagram and then kind of it like culminating to doing this collaboration with Glam Light. So a huge congratulations to Michaela. It's very exciting. Um, she actually did reach out to me and ask for my address, which was which was really cool for me. I was like, really? Okay. Um, so she, uh, I am supposed to be receiving that palette in PR. I haven't received it yet. Otherwise, I would be showing it to you. But it is supposed to be coming. I can't remember if they said it's shipping on the launch date or it was shipping the date that she announced it. I can't quite remember, but it is supposed to be coming to me. So once I do get it, I will definitely be doing some looks with it. If you'd wanna see a video here on YouTube with the palette or three different looks or anything like that, please do just let me know. Or if you just wanna see it like on Instagram or something, you know, holler at me. But thank you to Michaela for reaching out. I'm very excited for her and I hope this experience um, is just like such a positive one. And I love seeing things like this. I love seeing different people being able to collaborate with these different brands. And yeah, and I, I'm really excited for her. I'd love to know if you are grabbing it. You know, it is a larger palette. Uh, it is pretty colorful. I mean, she is incredibly talented with makeup looks. I, you know, then there's me. And I just, yeah, you know, I do things, not that I'm not talented. That's not what I'm trying to say, but it's like, it's just not my makeup preferences to do like a lot of blending and a lot of shadows. I like kind of quick, easy out the door type of thing, uh, type of makeup, but still I think it's going to be a fun one to try out. There's a lot of purples in the palette, which I do really like the purples. There's supposed to be this new shimmer formula, which is like diamond like sparkles. Some of the swatches that I've seen Michaela do is really, really beautiful. So, um, yeah, and it's just great to support other creators and, um, yeah, kind of have that community feel here. I think is really important. A lot of, you know, my, Little tagline is community over competition, and I will definitely be trying out this palette. Very excited for her, and let us know in the comments if you're planning to grab it. All right, another eyeshadow palette I see is from YSL Beauty. This is the La Smoky Eye collection. This includes the Couture Clutch eyeshadow palettes, eyeliners, mascara, and shadows. Right now, all I see is coming soon, so being YSL Beauty, I'm sure it's going to be pretty pricey. I do really like the looks of the palettes, how they look like the clutch. I think that's cute. Uh, I haven't tried, I don't think I've tried any YSL Beauty eyeshadows myself though, and because I'm not as interested in palettes right now, I, I know that I'm, I'm fine to skip over those. 
Uh, also, Morphe is coming out with some new ones, some new eyeshadow palettes. We have the 9M Melon Pop Artistry Palette for $12, and then also the 9R Bronze Metal Artistry Palette also for $12. I like that these are smaller. These are both 9 pan palettes because Morphe definitely comes out with pretty large palettes, which is just not, uh, just not my vibe. The melon one is cute. I would definitely give it that with like the red packaging and we have like some of the greens in there. You know, obviously watermelon, like that's, that they nailed it with that. The other one reminds me of a ColourPop palette. I'm trying to think of which one. Is it like brown sugar or, oh shoot, what was that one? Oh, it just, wild, wild child, wild thing, wild, rawr, uh, wild something. I feel like it's reminding me of that a little bit, but I don't feel like I need either of these. Palettes just like really aren't calling my attention at the moment. Uh, and then I also see a new, oh, this is also from Glam Light. The new icing base formulated to help eyeshadow stay in place for long lasting wear has seven different shades for $10. I don't usually gravitate towards products like this, probably because I don't do a lot of shades, a lot of bright shades, a lot of pigments, a lot of blending, a lot of layering. So oftentimes I tend to just prime my eyes with my concealer. There's a new product coming from Maybelline. This is, that was Aerie snoring if you heard her. <laughs> it was quite loud. Uh, this is from Maybelline. The new 4-in-1 Glow Perfector to Prime, Conceal, and Highlight coming soon to Ulta Beauty. So it doesn't look like we have much. Like right now I only see these three shades in this picture. I'm assuming there's more because the shades are 0, 2, and 4. So like I'm assuming there's pro. I mean I would assume there's more coming, but I guess I don't know that for sure. Um, prime, Conceal, and Highlight. I mean, I really don't have much to go off of. It just says something new is coming, but the packaging kind of reminds me of the Instant Age Rewind. I don't know. Can't say like off the bat, I'm like, yes, can't wait for this product, but you never know. You never know. I have one photo that I'm going off of, so not too sure there. And then I think just the last things I have to chat about, there's just some makeup news, and one of them actually... <laughs> I hadn't even seen it yet on trend mood. I was talking to one of my friends here at the complex. I was getting ready to film the other day. So I was like saying bye because we were just hanging out by the pool and I was like, bye, I'm going to go film. And he started chatting with me about different things. And we were talking about skincare. And then he was saying he really likes the Fenty skin eye cream. And then he was like, did you see that Harry Styles is coming out with a skincare brand? And I was like, what? No, I didn't see that. I feel like I'm supposed to be the one telling you that, but like, what's going on here? Uh, so Harry Styles has filed for a trademark for his own perfume and cosmetics line. All right, don't see anything yet, just coming soon, but I think a lot of people will be pretty excited for this. I feel like Harry Styles is pretty beloved. It's, I swear, it's like at least once, once a month. I don't know how this happens, but my TikTok turns into like a Harry Styles fan account somehow like I just keep getting shown videos of like Harry Styles uh, compilations and I'm like how do I keep getting on this because I mean I don't know Harry Styles but I, I think he seems like a fine person but I'm not like ah Harry Styles you know what I mean <laughs> but so like every once in a while though I'll just get like back to back to back videos of like Harry Styles at concerts and I'm like what what's going on here so I think a lot of people will be pretty excited for it so you know I'll be keeping an eye out for that and then also we have Ariana Grande filed a trademark for her, her own beauty line, God is a Woman, to include a bunch of things including skincare, shower gels, bath gels, all that stuff. Not super shocked, not super shocked to see it. I think doesn't Charity do like perfume and I don't know, does she do hair stuff? I feel like it would make sense if she did. Oh, not super surprised. And then Kylie Jenner is expanding her products to a new baby line. So that's going to be Kylie Baby products for skin, hair care, baby carrier, strollers, cribs, diapers, etc., etc. Also not shocked to see this. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with Kylie Cosmetics. I watched um, Too Much Mouth did a video on the downfall of Kylie Cosmetics. And I thought it was really interesting all the different points that she uh, was talking about. But... You know, Kylie Cosmetics has been very heavily discounted. Their Instagram is pretty much wiped. It looks like maybe there's like a rebrand coming since Kylie has sold her, um, like her, you know, main shares of the company. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but I guess I'm also not surprised to see her moving into baby stuff. And exactly what she was saying in her in her video um, on the Too Much Mouth channel, I can link it if you'd want to check it out because I thought it was a really good video. But you know what she was saying, like as we do get older and our lives change, like even with like beauty influencers, like our content can start to change and that sort of thing. And it's like, 
I think of the the creators who start it when they were you know in high school or in college and they would do a lot of like back to school and that sort of thing but now they're in their 30s and it's like you know you kind of kind of can't keep or I don't want to say can't but like a lot of people aren't going to be interested in doing like back to school makeup looks when you're 32 you know what I'm saying yeah I guess I'm not super shocked to see her moving into baby stuff since she does you know have her her baby stormy but I guess I feel like when you're putting out a cosmetics line it's not just supposed to be like a flash in the pan type of thing like it's supposed to be here for the long term not just until you get bored I don't know if I'm if that comes across as rude and I'm, I'm really not trying for it to like sound rude but it's just so odd to me because like what about the fan base that you built up what about the people that loved your products and then you're just like oh, I'm bored with this I'm gonna move on <laughs> I'm like okay but anyways this is not supposed to be like a roasting video so there's that that's what I know for new brands and other than that that is it for this week's will I buy it video so I'd love to know what are you most interested in let me know if you'd want to see that shop with me at Sephora video because I could definitely do another one but I am planning to have like a probably pretty good decent sized haul here coming up soon because there's been a lot that is called my attention recently but other than that that is it if you enjoyed this one please make sure to give it a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll see you in my next video